How to change sensitivity factor in insulin pump? In this video, we'll discuss what sensitivity factor is and how to find out the correct sensitivity factor for yourself. When blood sugar is high, you will need to take a bolus of insulin from the pump to get it down. The higher the blood sugar is, the more insulin you need to take to get it back to a good level. Sensitivity factor tells the pump how much insulin to give for a certain level of blood sugar. Here is an example of a sensitivity factor of 50. Let's say if we set the target blood sugar at 100, then if your blood sugar is 150, you should take one unit of insulin. If your blood sugar is 200, you should take two units. If it is 250, you should take three units. If it's 300, you should take four units. So on and so forth. For every 50 points of blood sugar above the target, you should take additional one unit of insulin. That's what sensitivity factor of 50 means. Then how to get the right sensitivity factor for your pump? There is something called 2000 rule. You divide 2000 by the total amount of insulin you took in a day, including both basal insulin and the insulin bolus. And the number you get is the sensitivity factor. To be more scientifically accurate, it should be the total amount of insulin in a day that can get your blood sugar into a good range. So if your blood sugar is not well controlled, it might be a little more than what you actually take in a day. But this, for the sake of simplicity, you can just divide 2000 by the total amount of insulin you take in a day on average. And you should be able to find this number from your pump report. Let's say if according to your pump, you normally need 50 units of insulin in a day, basal plus bolus, then the right sensitivity factor is 2000 divided by 50, which is 40. What does the sensitivity factor 40 mean? Let's look at example. This is an example of what a sensitivity factor of 40 look like. Assuming the target blood sugar on your pump is 100, then the pump will suggest 1 unit for blood sugar of 140, 2 units for blood sugar of 180, 3 units for blood sugar of 220, so on and so forth. It will suggest 1 additional unit of insulin for every 40 points of blood sugar above the target. The more insulin you need in a day, the lower the sensitivity factor is. Or in other words, the less responsive or sensitive you are to insulin, the lower the sensitivity factor is. Many things can affect your response to insulin. For example, if you gain weight, you will need more insulin. Stress, steroid, infection, and pain can all make you less sensitive to insulin. If any of those situations last for more than a few days, you will likely need to change sensitivity factor. Then what should I do if my blood sugar suddenly becomes too high? You can go to hmf-diabetes.com and search what to do if my blood sugar is very high and find answers from endocrinologist. Or you could be more specific. For example, search my blood sugar is very high after taking steroids and see if you can find more interesting answers.